डाइकिन एयर कंडीशनिंग इंडिया प्राइवेट लिमिटेड नोटन परिश्रम निर्माण की श्री सिटी लो संकुस्तापन जरिगिंदी इधे देशम लो आसमस्त कुछ चंदना मोड़ यूनिट मरियो आधी पैदा दी भारत लोनी जापान रायबारी सातोशी सुजू की चेन्नई लोनी जापान काउंसिल जनरल मुसाई की टागा चिजुता सीनियर मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर नायो की निशोई का श्री सिटी मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर रविंद्र सन्ना रेड्डी इतर आतिथ्य लो समक्ष लो डाइकिन इंडिया एमडी सीईओ कन्वल जीत जावा लांच नंगा शंकुस्तापन कार्यक्रम निर्भिन चारु जेट्रो जैका मारियो श्री सिटी जापान परिश्रमण प्रतिनिधि लो इंदलो पाल गुन्नारु ये संदर्भ बंगा जावा मार्टलर तू तमा प्रबंध चव्याप्त विनियोग दार लगू उत्तम सेवलं दिन चेंड को आवश्यक में ना ग्लोबल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग व्यवस्थान विस्तरण चढ़म समतुल्यम चेंडी में लक्षण का समस्त देर के काल के वृद्धि भी होने लो ये पेटुबड़ी चाला प्राधान्यत संतरण चुकुंदन ना रू रिसेच एंड डेवलपमेंट सामाजिक � a very small video about the architect's view about our project and it will show how does it look like. Mr. Suzuki a couple of days back when the two Prime Ministers came in Hyderabad house. I saw his commitment there and today this is an endorsement, testament to his commitment to Indian air conditioning industry. Considering that the site is in southern India, it was a very strategic decision to be near biggest ports for exports and the domestic market hubs of Chennai. Hyderabad and Bangalore. So His Excellency, I would like to take that pride in informing that today Daikin has established in India also as a number one air conditioning company from Japan. I also must take this opportunity to congratulate Mr. Sanna Reddy for creating this wonderful place called Shri City. Indeed, he and his team acted with such speed when I met him first a couple of months back only, acted with such a speed and velocity to get us on the board and clarifying and cleaning all our doubts and inhibition. I'm very pleased to join you today to celebrate another big step for Daikin India as well as the economic partnership between Japan and India. In fact, Daikin India has contributed significantly to the build-up of India's manufacturing sector and its capacity by nurturing skilled workers, skilled engineers, and creating a rich network of component suppliers in India for more than 20 years. Daikin's expansion to southern India will further allow them to serve not only the people in India, but also for the people of Asia and Africa as well. 
I take this opportunity to thank the state of government of Andhra Pradesh and the government of India for the excellent support. Uh, it is unique time, historic time. I don't have any words to describe. Uh, I was sitting here looking back. I was thinking number one from the world, with, uh, from number one partner of Sri City in number one state of uh, India to do business, ease of doing business. As most of you know, Andhra Pradesh is ranked number one in ease of doing business in India. So this unique combination comes very rarely. It is really overwhelming. Today, I was happy to hear they are building one of the largest plant in India and also maybe in the Southeast Asia. And more importantly, time has come now where we can align what Sri City is all about. Sri City is all about bringing jobs to this backward area, especially to women, women employment, and also take unskilled and semi-skilled people, train them and put them into jobs. I think Daikin, I was sharing a lot of uh, phone calls with Mr. Java as he is taking the spearheading the uh, skill development in India, JIT, uh, Japan in Institute of Training uh, uh, Institute, JITs. Uh, we have some lot of things in common as organizations, Free City and Java, our philosophy of empowering women, creating jobs, and I think you have chosen the right place. We will be, uh, you know, in true spirit, you know, Free City is already home to 200 plus industries, majority from Japan, about 